so uh, the generative deep architectures and discriminative deep architectures we have seen which are intended for characterizing the relation now the uh, we can say despite the complex categorization of deep learning architecture the ones that are in practice or widely used are deep feed forwarded networks convolution networks and recurrent networks so deep for feed forwarded networks the goal of this network is to approximate the function that is the main part of deep feed forward network next one is the convolution networks the goal of cnn is to learn high ordered features in the data via convolutions they are well suited for object recognition with images and consistently top image classification competitions convolution neural network is basically highly famous because they gives us a very good output by using minimum features though and that's why they are basically used in the object recognition the next one is the recurrent networks which allows both parallel and sequential computation and in principle can compute anything traditional computer can compute that is recurrent network which is basically uh, uses the parallel and sequential computation all these three types we will see in detail but before that as we are talking about deep feed forward network and all so feed forward network then the input layer output layer all these things are connected to neural network so we will see first neural network so neural network consists of an interconnected group of nodes which are called as the neurons so as we are talking about neural network it is nothing but a group of nodes and that nodes are called as neurons so the input feature variable from the data are passed to these neurons as multi layer linear combination where the values multiplied by which variable which variable are known as weights so we are talking about neural network and there are number of neurons in the particular neural network so generally these neurons are having the values which are multiplied by each variable and that values are nothing but the weights of that particular neuron a neural network can have multiple layers where the output of one layer is passed to the next one in same way so neural network generally have input layer output layer and hidden layer it is the combination of various layers where the output of first layer is passed to the second layer in fact we are having some networks where the last output is again given as input to the first layer so neural network is basically famous as they are having the various layers neural networks are trained using stochastic uh, gradient descent which is called as sgd and the back propagation algorithm so the stochastic gradient descent is a popular algorithm for training a wide range of models in machine learning and uh, logistic regression and graphical models and the back propagation algorithm is a standard algorithm which is used for training the artificial neural networks that's why neural networks are used or trained by sgd and back propagation as sgd is basically a uh, training the wide range of models and back propagation algorithm trains the an and that is artificial neural networks so the pros and cons of neural network that effective at modeling a uh, highly complex non linear relationship so as i said that neural networks i can have many layers and as it is having many layers the various parameters are also there and that's why they are effective at modeling the highly complex non linear relationship flexible in learning any kind of feature variable relationship generally we don't worry about the structure of data at neural networks because they are very flexible and because of that we can learn any kind of feature variable relationship network performance is higher as research has consistently shown that giving the network more training data we are having a very good performance that's why its performance is higher then the cons of neural network it is not easy to interpret and understand now as i said neural network is combination of various layers and because of that the complexity of models is there 
and that's why they are not easy to interpret and understand intensive to train and tune actually they are quite challenging intensity to train and requires careful hyper parameter tuning and setting of the learning rate schedule because they contains large amount of neurons requires lot of data to achieve high performance they does not work well on the small data cases as i said it is part of deep learning and deep learning works well only when you are having a largest data set so it requires a lot data lot of data to achieve the highest performance so this is all about the uh, basic idea of the deep learning architectures that are used widely and the neural network in our next section we will see the deep feed forwarded networks thank you